welcome to the Watercube 2011. Can you tell us about yourself, who you are, where you're from? Well, thank you. It's great to be here. Mm -hmm. My name is Kathy Basco, and I'm with WASH Advocacy Initiative, which is located in Washington, D.C. And can you show us your name badge, too, My please? My name badge, it's official. Thank you. Here I am. Yes. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> And um, what has brought you to World Water Week? This is your first time here. It is my first time here, and one of the reasons we're here is we helped organize, um, as partners with the State Department, DFID, Water, Lex, and Fan, mm -hmm. a program this afternoon, Thursday, the 25th at 2 o'clock, on uh, the issues of rights-based approach and how it enhances women's leadership and sustainable wash outcomes. That sounds very interesting. Can you tell us more about gender issues in the water sector and in development? Well, it is an issue that's recognized but not enough attention given to, I think. Okay. It still is very much an anecdotal and people aware that women are key to the success of implementing and maintaining and even designing water solutions, mm -hmm. but too often they're left out. And one of my priorities is to raise more awareness on that because Really, um, the women and the girls are the most disproportionately affected by the challenges of WASH sanitation and hygiene. And uh, which areas of the world particularly does WASH work with and which women in what areas do they Well, we, we're based on, we work on advocacy primarily, which is to raise more awareness in the United States but overseas as well, but primarily in the United States, and then to bring more resources and funding through our networks and convening and facilitating to the challenges of WASH. And one of the primary ways that we're going to work, I'm working, is to really try and raise more awareness globally among women um, of the, uh, in the developed world as well as developing. They know the issues, but the developed world doesn't. So I think okay. there's a great opportunity now for a movement to bring more women to the cause. Globally. And how do you how do you inform these women? What so we hope to be organizing a global campaign, actually, okay. Women for Water, to uh, educate them bring the awareness that will then enable them to be better advocates and actually raise money for projects. Where will that or take that, place? Well, we'll start in the U.S. and it will go global through women's networks and alliances and building a movement over 10 years or more of uh, women's power and leadership at all levels. Great. Thank you so much for sharing with us today. Thank you for the Kathy. opportunity. Bye. Good to meet you.